Housing policy as an agenda for elections 2017. The primary focus of housing policy is to expand availability of affordable housing and decent dwelling units. Housing demand and supply in Kenya is driven by the cost of construction material and the cost of land. The quality of housing in Kenya correlates highly with the income level of a given household. What this means is that a faster growth in real income will lead to better and more decent housing for all Kenyans. The difference in earning between urban and rural households is observed in the quality of materials used in constructing housing structures. This chart summarizes the status of Kenya's housing by the materials used to construct the roof, walls, and the floor. Notably, 81.6% of Kenyan households in the year 2009 had dwellings with roofing made from durable materials such as corrugated iron sheets and roofing tiles. Virtually, all residents of Nairobi and urban reside in houses with durable roofing materials, which is another reflection of the quality of housing structure. The most salient point from the chart is that in every structural feature, the urban households generally have more durable roofs, walls, and floors. However, only 33.4% and 43.3% of walling and floors respectively are made from durable materials in Kenya as a whole because of the quantity and cost of materials required to construct them, e.g. cement and steel. The reason for this expensive cement and steel product is on the account of industrial policy and the protection of cement firms that are partly owned by the government. Kenya has a modestly sized steel industry that is also protected from cheaper alternatives primarily from China. Thus, the solution to achieve more competitive construction material lies in robust competition through liberalization of trade in steel. The chart shows that 59% of all urban dwellers reside in a single room structure, while the corresponding share for rural dwellers is 27.2%. Thus, while urban dwellings have more durable structural features in walls, floors, and roofs, rural dwellings have more rooms within their households. The implication of this is that the urban problem is a supply problem that requires addition of housing units for rental and purchase. On the other hand, the primary policy challenge in rural Kenya is the quality of the building materials. Therefore, the policy imperative for rural areas is a demand focus in order to enable the purchase for better construction materials for walls and floors. Overcoming the supply constraints in urban areas requires efficient and competitive markets in the cost of land, adequate investment in public infrastructure, and the reduction in regulatory burden of licenses. The housing market in Kenya has a dual character where urban areas experience a shortage of rental places and thus need supply enhancements. Rural Kenya shows the advantage of greater space and cheaper land, but with poorer quality of housing due to inadequate income to pay for durable materials. The policy solution is on policies that enhance incomes and affordability, trade liberalization to reduce cost of construction materials. Finally, urban housing markets would be more efficient with replacement of rent controls and provision of housing vouchers to poorer households.